Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to convert JSON to Excel in Power Automate Desktop. Over here, I have a sample JSON file which contains up to 7 keys and values. So what we're going to do is, we're going to extract the key and then, once we get the, the key, we're going to look for each key, we're going to assess this value and then we write it into the Excel. All right, so now the first step, what we need to do is we use a read text from file. Over here, I'm going to select my file path and it will store into file contents. Next, I'll then use a convert JSON to custom object. Okay, so if you take a look here, now we have up to three items, sorry, four items. And there's, for each four items, I have this key and the value. So now I just want to have a variable which contains only the key. So I need to extract the keys only, right? So from here, I'm going to set variable. And I just want to set it as first item. Okay. And I will call it as JSON custom object at the first index. Okay. So from this first index, what I'm going to do is I need to convert this object to a JSON string. Okay. Next, what I will do is I use a past text. And this past text, there will be a regular expression to only extract the key value. So from here, the text that I want to pass is my custom object as JSON. And then it's not first occurrence because there is a lot key of keys that we want to get. And then I of course need to check its regular expression and ignore case and the variable produce I do not want the position and I want to name this as keys so if I save and I click run now if I go to my keys variable it's a list of keys each keys I already got this value but now we have the double quote followed by a colon so we're going to do a write to the Excel but without the double quote and the colon. Okay, so now the next step, I'm going to use a terminate process. I want to terminate Excel. Okay, and then I want to launch Excel. Open a blank document and next, I will use a for each in keys, I call this as current key. And then I want to do a replace text. The text that I want to pass is my current key. And the text that I want to find is the double quote, replace it with an empty string. And the variable, I want to rename it with my same variable. Okay, I'm going to do the same step, but this time out is for the colon. Okay, so now I'm going to get the first free row okay but now remember when we want to write a value into excel we need to indicate the row value right so what we're gonna do here we are going to write the record based on each key for each key we're going to write the header followed by the value and continue with the next until the last key all right so what we're going to do here is 
we have to use a counter variable set variable here we call it as key counter we set it as zero and then we don't forget our increase variable Now, when we open Excel file, right, this get first free column and row, it's it gonna give us the first free column will start from B, not E. So we need to have a logic to say that if the index, if the key counter is zero, then we will write at column A. If not, you will always get the first free column. So over here, we're going to use if. the key counter equals to zero i will set a variable of my first free column minus one all right so from here what i'm going to do next is I'm going to write to Excel worksheet. The value that I want to write is my current key column at first free column. At which row? Maybe at row one. Okay, so now if I click run. Now I have a total of seven columns. Okay, so let's continue with the rest. We are going to enhance this flow where I'm going to use a for each record in my JSON custom object. And I call it as current item, which is over here. For each of these items, I'm going to assess the, the key and get the value. Okay, so for each current item, I'm going to use write to Excel worksheet value that I want to write. Basically, I need the current item followed by the index. But for now, we are going to use the column name. So we put a square bracket and then we indicate the current key into where? into the first free column and which row for this time round we this has to be dynamic so we're going to add an additional variable which is meant for excel counter excel row counter and i set this as zero why because for each of these item, we have we want to append it at row one, two, three, four, and so forth. So from here, I'm going to increment the variable again inside here. And at which row we will set it as at row counter. Okay. Apologies, this should not start at zero why because if i open my excel after i write the column header the next row i'm going to write is at two a2 so this time i should start from row two okay so now i'm going to run this flow
as you can see here, we have already populated all our JSON to an Excel file. But now, you actually need to save the file, whether CSV or Excel. Or, right, so from here, what we're going to do is we can use a save Excel. And I will choose save document as depending on the extension that I want. In this case, maybe I want to save it as CSV. Then the file path, what I can do is I just set the file here without the extension. And then it will automatically save it as CSV. Or I can choose to use the close Excel and then instead of the save Excel. But this time I just want to show you. So let's run again. All right, so now I already saved the file as table.csv. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.